Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will be covering what are various conjunction control approaches. I will explain what is provisioning, admission control, traffic aware routing, load shedding and traffic throttling. And then I will explain what are various methods used to control conjunction. Guys, I have uploaded complete computer network subject tutorials. I will provide that link. In description, you can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. Guys, whenever multiple computers send data at the same time in network, there is huge amount of data in network which will cause a traffic jam. So, conjunction is nothing but huge amount of data in network which will cause a traffic jam. Conjunction will cause delay that is nothing but data will reach to receiver very slow and then sometimes there is loss of data and also network performance will decrease due to conjunction. So, by using various conjunction control approaches, we can prevent conjunction. By using various conjunction control approaches, we can keep our network running smoothly, which will avoid overloading and allows data to flow efficiently. These are various conjunction control approaches. And the first one is provisioning. Guess whenever conjunction occurs in network, in order to avoid conjunction, we use provisioning technique. In provisioning technique, we will add extra resources like routers and cables in order to avoid conjunction. Guess normally there is engineering team. This engineering team will identify our network condition and they will update our network whenever new technologies are available. So this provisioning that is nothing but adding extra resources like routers and cables are done by engineering team. Next to conjunction control approach is admission control. Guys in admission control technique, new connections are not given to devices whenever network is overloaded. Only if network is not busy, then new connections are given to devices. Guess for example, if you consider phone system, if too many people try to make call at the same time, then phone system will become overloaded. When phone system is overloaded, then new calls are not allowed. Only if phone system is not too busy, then new calls are allowed. Okay, this admission control technique is simple to implement for phone lines, but it is harder to implement for computer networks because computer network contain different types of devices with the different sizes and with different capacities. That is why Admission control technique is hard to implement for computer networks. Next to conjunction control approach is traffic aware routing. Guys, in this technique, whenever a particular line is too busy, then data will be transferred by using other line. Guys, in traffic aware routing, each and every link is given some weight. Less weight means line is not too busy and whereas high weight means line is busy. For example, this computer wants to transfer data to this computer. This computer will transfer data by using this line. In this particular line, traffic is very high. That is nothing but line is busy. So in this particular line, if line is busy, then simply data will be transferred by using other line. So now data will be transferred by using this line. So when compared to 5, 3 is smaller. That is nothing but this line is less busy. So now instead of this line, data will be transferred by using this line. Yes, for example, 10 computers want to transfer data at the same time. So now 10 computers will identify that. This line is busy. So now again 10 computers will shift to this line. So instead of this line, all these 10 computers will shift to this line. Again, this line also will become busy. So at a time, if too much traffic is sent to other line, then other line also becomes busy. Then data will be reached to receiver very slow. And this problem can be solved by using two techniques. One is multipath routing, and second one is gradual traffic shifting routing scheme. Thus, in multipath routing, instead of shifting complete traffic to other route at a time, devices need to select multiple paths. For example, some devices will select this path, some devices will select this path, and some devices will choose some other path. And whereas gradual traffic shifting routing scheme is nothing but, instead of shifting complete traffic to other route suddenly, complete traffic must be shifted to other route gradually. Instead of 10 devices moving to other route at a time, at first, some device will move to this route. So, some device transferring data. Again, some device will move to this route. Like that, instead of shifting complete data at a time to this route, gradually, device need to shift data. So, data will be reached to receiver very fast. Fourth, conjunction control approach is load shedding. As in load shedding, whenever traffic is full, that is nothing but whenever multiple devices send data at the same time in network, if router cannot handle that much data, then router will discard some data packets. So load shedding means router will discard some packets whenever router cannot handle incoming traffic. As for example, let us say this router can handle only 10 packets, but at a time 
20 packets are received to this router. Now router need to discard 10 packets. Now router will discard 10 packets based on two techniques. Wine strategy and next one is milk strategy. Case in wine strategy, older packets are more important than newer packets. So whenever multiple devices are at the same time, if router cannot handle that much data, older packets are selected and then newer packets are discarded. As we know, old wine is costly. Even in computer networks, old data packets are important when compared to new packets. And whereas milk strategy is opposite to wine strategy, in milk strategy, new packets are accepted and old packets are rejected. So if router cannot handle too much data, then router will accept new packets and then router will reject old packets. Guys, load shedding will also follow other technique in order to discard packet. The technique is nothing but priority based discarding. Guys, in priority based discarding, whenever particular computer send data, then along with data, it will include priority number. So data with the highest priority number is accepted and data with small priority number is rejected. In case if router cannot handle that many packets. Guys, you also need to know what is rate. That is nothing but random error detection technique. As red technique will control conjunction by discarding packets before buffer is completely full. So this technique will prevent conjunction. As for example, let us say router size is 5. That is nothing but router can handle only 5 packets at a time. Actually, when your buffer size is 5, then packets must be discarded. But in this red technique, before buffer is full, packets are discarded. So when your buffer size reach to 4, packets will be discarded. So conjunction will not occur. And fifth conjunction control technique is traffic throttling. That's in traffic throttling technique. Whenever conjunction occurs, the speed of network is decreased. For example, network is overloaded. So whenever network is overloaded, then internet service providers like Act of Hypernet, Geo, Atel, they will get alert message. Whenever they receive alert message, then they will slow down the internet speed. So before conjunction occurs, internet service providers will get alert message that conjunction is going to occur. So whenever they receive alert message, they will slow down the internet speed. As internet speed is decreased, now data will reach the receiver very slow. So conjunction will be avoided. So traffic throttling technique is also known as conjunction avoidance technique. Because traffic throttling technique will follow two main operations. One is predicting conjunction and next one is notifying routers and senders. If there is too much data in queue for a particular router, then conjunction is able to occur now router will identify which sender is causing conjunction. That is nothing but which sender is sending too much data. Now router will send alert message to particular sender in order to slow down the data transfer. Based on how much data is in queue, router will identify whether conjunction will occur or not. Whenever there is chance for conjunction, now router will inform the sender to send data very slow. These are two operations performed in traffic throttling. Next I will explain various methods used to control conjunction. And the first one is warning bit method. Yes, for example, there are so many devices transferring data through this router and this particular computer is sending too much data through this router. As conjunction is able to occur, now this router will send special bit as acknowledgement. This special bit is known as warning bit. So whenever this computer receives warning bit, now this computer will understand that conjunction is able to occur. Now this computer will send data packets slowly. This is known as warning bit method. And next method is choke packet method. The choke packet method is same like warning bit method. So instead of sending warning bit, a choke packet is sent to sender. Whenever this computer receives choke packet, now this computer will send data slowly in order to avoid conjunction. This is diagram. Router A is sending data very fast. So whenever conjunction occurred for router F, now router F will send choke packet to router A in order to slow down the data transmission. The camera mark will represent fast data transmission. So there is maximum flow. So whenever router A receives choke packet, now router A will send data slowly. There is reduced flow. And third method is hop by hop choke packet. Thus hop is nothing but router. Thus in hop by hop choke packet, whenever conjunction occurs to a particular router, then that router will inform to its connected router. I'll give example. This computer wants to send data to this computer, but for this particular router, conjunction occurred. So whenever conjunction occurred, this router will send choke packet to this router. And similarly, this router will send choke packet to this router. And similarly, the router will send choke packet to this computer. Now this computer will understand that for this particular router, conjunction occurred. Now this computer will send data slowly in order to avoid conjunction. This is diagram. This router is transferring data very fast. So for this particular router, D conjunction occurred. As router D is connected to E, 
router D will send choke packet to E and then E will send choke packet to F and then G, H and then H will send choke packet to A. Whenever router A receives choke packet, now router A will send data slowly. This is meaning of hop by hop choke packet. 